and now I've opened up a different scene and I've just put him in this location everyone's got a mouth why, have you, why is your mouth a bit weird anyway I'll fix you up later so let's select um, file link let's go mouth flat I forgot to rename that file which is very clever of me um, so let's just quickly I am going to fix that up now mouth flat I made the mistake there. File, save as Simon. Close. Back, back. Simon. Um, group, mouth rig, Simon. So he's a little bit big, but that's fine. So what we need to do is we need to set this mouth to be the constraint of Simon's head. So I'm going to click on the constraints add object constraint, child of. I'm gonna use the eyedropper tool to select the proxy. And then I know that that bone is called head. <coughs> okay. So now let's move head into position. Let's scale it. Now let's find, we will now move that down. I'm going to go GZ shift just so it goes just behind. That's not what I wanted because that gray writing is there. Shift S. I need to change that gray writing. Um, I'll try and fix that on the main file. So let's go click on that. Let's move them down. Save. And because I did the change, I can go file, I'll save, file, open recent. And that's been fixed. Now I can go GZ and down. And now, there we go. And now, it doesn't matter how he moves. What's wrong with the Lord of the Town? That looks pretty good. And I'm very happy with that. And there we have it. We've pretty much gone through and created um, just part of a short film. But obviously, you can take those techniques and really expand and create your own. Um, I mean, it's only taken a couple of hours from modeling the scene to doing an animation to doing all that. So, yeah, I'm interested to see what you guys come up with. Thank you very much.